Did you realize that PowerPoint is an extremely powerful Swiss Army knife for image and composition generation? That's right, it's not just for slideshows. I'm gonna show you in this episode how to quickly generate some custom graphics for greater good using good old fashioned PowerPoint. Let's get started, stick around. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. I'm gonna walk you through some steps on how you can make some custom graphics using PowerPoint and then use them elsewhere. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna step into this here. Let me just go ahead and right click on layout. First thing I'd like you to do is just think about this as an opportunity to make something quick. So first of all, I'm just gonna make a quick little label. I'm gonna call this one Michael Teal. All right, I am gonna change the fill color. So no outline, cool, cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another rectangle behind it. This is where I kind of feel like the happy painter. Let's give this one, let's say for example, a gray. I'm going to use the selection pane and move it below center and horizontal align them. All right, so let's just say uh, this is a little bit of a graphic and yeah, we've got something. Maybe let's put an inner shadow on this one. I mean, we're just checking it out here. No right or wrong. And we go, cool, I like that. So if you wanna use that, for example, as a lower third, all you need to do is literally select all those assets, so anything you have on here, select it, right click it, hit save as picture, and then I'm just gonna put this in the download section right now. I'm gonna call this Teal L3, okay? Now here's the trick. I want you to, out of your save as types, I do not want you to use JPEG, I want you to use PNG. And the reason is it will give you a transparent background. So I'm gonna show you how that looks and feels. Okay, so we've saved it. I'm just gonna make a new slide here. I am going to go ahead, give this one a blank layout. And we're going to insert a picture in here. So let's go to our device. Let's go to our downloads. Here's our new L3. And now we have a flattened object, right? So this is not real text. This is just something that we can use here. Okay, now that's nice, but I wanna use that in OBS. So what I'm gonna do is bring us over here into OBS. Let me bring this up nice and big for you. Hi everyone, hopefully you're doing well. And let's say on my pure camera here, I wanna add that image I've just used as a lower third asset. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit plus. I'm gonna add an image, I'm gonna call this one new teal l3 i'm just making a name for the source no biggie on that one i'm going to navigate to it it happens to be in my downloads there it is i am going to bring that in and you're like wow that's pretty big and i agree so we're just going to snug that up make it a little smaller incidentally if you are in obs uh, the broadcast you can hit Control d to snap it to the middle um, and just kind of snug that thing up and you go, Ooh, okay, I kind of like that about right there. So at this point, I'm gonna bring both of these onto the stage and let you see what it looks like. So boom, we've got ourselves a lower third. Now you might not like where that is, maybe you wanna bring it over, but there you go. So very easy to use PowerPoint to create image compositions. And you know, you could take it so much further than that if you want to. You can absolutely go ahead and do things like, uh, let's just do another little example here. And I am going to, let's just add an icon. Okay, so let's grab an icon. What would be a fun icon? This brain, and let's give that a color. Let's give it a blue color, just arbitrarily, right? And let's say you said, okay, I wanna do something like associate something with that. So let's just call this brain. How about neurocharged? I've used this one before. Neurocharged Learning Institute, okay? Something like that. We're gonna put this graphic right over here with this. That kind of looks like the PBS deal. And I'm gonna use the Shift Enter for some nice soft basing with this. I am going to bring this over kind of like this. We've got the Neurocharged Learning Institute. And let's say we just wanna make that one freestanding graphic. So I've selected both of these assets and I'm gonna right click. I am going to, you guessed it, save as picture. And let's just call this new icon. Okay, cool. Got a new icon. Now I could insert a new, new slide if I wanted to. I could insert that picture from this device. 
And the cool thing you're gonna see here is that you now have a nice, nice clean icon that is gonna hold up really well. Okay, so when you save something as a PNG, you're gonna notice you're gonna get all of the transparency in there. And I think that's a good day. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea here. The, the great part of PowerPoint is it can be a very powerful, rapid image composition tool. So whether you want that as for lower thirds, for icons, you simply just select everything you want, whether it's your text, whether it's shapes, and you right click and you select save as picture. As long as you save it as a PNG and you'll get that nice transparent background for what you have. So I just showed you how you could take two separate items here. You can save those as a PNG and like we've done there, it'll now be a true image. In fact, I will go to the selection pane and you'll see it's now a picture and it's flattened. It looks good. Matter of fact, here's how sharp it looks when we actually bring it up. So it holds up really well in a presentation. Um, let's talk some of the limitations though. When it comes to this, if you're looking to get things pixel perfect for let's say Instagram or Facebook, it's not the perfect tool. But if you're just looking for a general size and dimension and you want something quick and dirty that for example, maybe you wanna put this on your signature of your email or something, you could easily insert that into your email signature and have something that is very serviceable as an image. So I encourage you to try this using PowerPoint as a very powerful image composition tool. That's your tip for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post your comments below. And as always, thank you for tuning in and please make it a great week.